breaking news here on Texans today. Nico Collins placed on IR. That means he's going to miss the next four weeks for the Houston Texans. Those games include the New England Patriots. They'll be playing the Colts again. They'll be playing the Packers next week, and they'll be playing the Indianapolis Colts. So the next four weeks without Nico Collins, what does that mean for this Houston Texans team? And what does that mean for this Texans offense? I mean, Nico Collins was the guy for this team. He has been the best receiver in the National Football League through five weeks. I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. Almost 570 yards, three touchdowns on the year, 32 receptions for Nico Collins. The Texans will be without Nico, like I said, for the next four weeks, at least after he is placed on IR. As we look at the Texans' depth chart right now, I said it at the beginning of the year, the Texans have three wide receiver ones on their team. Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, and Nico Collins. So, after seeing that, I'm not... You know, too worried. You also have Robert Woods, who's been playing well. John Mechie, Xavier Hutchinson, Steven Sims. But I want to hear from you folks at home because it's undoubtedly a big hit to this offense, a big hit to this team that Nico Collins will not be in the starting lineup. What is your confidence level, though, in this Texans wide receiver room without Nico Collins? Scale it 1 to 10. 1, you have no confidence at all. 10, you have the most confidence in the world. You don't think they're even going to miss a beat. Let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are. I'll give you my thoughts here in just a moment. But if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, perfect timing. Scroll on down and let me know what are your confidence level in the Texans wide receiver room without Nico Collins. My confidence level is currently at an eight. I'm not that worried. I think they'll be just fine. Do I think they won't miss a beat? No, I think Nico Collins has proven that he is one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. And when you lose a guy like that, obviously it's going to be a hit to your football team. But I'm not too worried because I think this is the exact reason why the Texans made the moves that they did this offseason. This is the exact reason why they went out and traded for Stephon Diggs and spent a future second-round pick to get this man from Buffalo. That's the reason why they are, you know, we're so confident in a guy like Tank Dell in, you know, coming in and making sure that this Texans team has enough receiving options for C.J. Stroud, a prolific quarterback in the NFL. You have quality depth at the position. You have guys who I think can really step up for this team. So. Am I worried about Nico Collins' injury? Yes, a little bit because I, you know, really think that he's a top three receiver in this league. But when you have a guy like Stephon Diggs, when you have another guy like Tank Dell, it lessens the blow a little bit for me. And I think having those guys is part of the reason why they put Nico Collins on IR because, like I said earlier in the week, they're playing the safe game. They're playing the long game with these injuries. They're making sure, hey, we don't want to be injured once we get into the tough stretch of games because the first game Nico Collins can actually return to, primetime game up against the Detroit Lions. That's going to be a very tough game. So if you get a guy like Nico Collins back in four weeks, 100%, I think the Texans would rather have that than have Nico Collins at 80% and re, uh, you know, risk re-injury to that hamstring, similar to what they're doing with Christian Harris right now with his injury. So... I'm at about an eight. I'm not too worried, and I think the Texans, they're just playing it safe with Nico Collins. Coming up in just a moment, though, there's one player who might surprise you in the next four weeks. There's one player who I think is due for a breakout for this Texans team, and I think some of you might be surprised, and I think some of you might not because of how well he's played this past year. But before I tell you who that player is, I couldn't go – on this show. I couldn't make a free episode of Texans today if it wasn't for our amazing sponsors over at Game Time. Get started with the Game Time app today. It's my go-to ticketing app, so it should be your go-to ticketing app because it is the best in the business, no doubt about it. Want to make your life like a movie? Well, this past year, Game Time has helped me do just that by helping me get floor seats to Adele and Drake, two of my favorite artists of all time. I mean, Adele's not even you know, touring anymore. The fact that I was able to get those tickets with game time, it is a memory that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. You can find great deals on last second tickets, just like I did by using the game time app. They have flash deals where it's like the closer it gets to the event, 
the lower the price of the tickets go, and they'll have great deals right before the start of the events. You can also see the views from your seats. You get a panoramic view, so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you buy a ticket, and you know exactly the, how good the seat looks, how good it's going to be when you go to the game. All these great reasons are why I love Game Time, and they actually have a brand new feature called Game Time Picks. This feature basically filters out all the fluff and makes getting tickets to see your favorite teams or going to your favorite concerts that much easier. Game Time Picks filters out the fluff to show you only incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets on the app. It shows you the best bang for your buck. And, I mean, isn't that what we all want in today's economy? Isn't that what you want? The best bang for your buck, the best deal you can possibly get, you could get that with Game Time today. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S for $20 off your first purchase. Download Game Time today. What time is it? It's Game Time. Could a breakout be coming for Xavier Hutchinson? With Nico out, someone needs to step up, and I think that guy might just be X. He's looked really good this year. I mean, in that Week 5 game up against the Bills, he made a couple of massive catches for this Texans team. Look at what he did in the preseason. He was one of the you know best performers of the preseason for this Texans team. I think he'll make an impact starting this week up against the New England Patriots. I think he's that good, and I really do think that with Nico Collins out, that leaves a hole for a guy like Xavier Hutchinson. And I love what I've seen out of Hutchinson, his growth with this team. He's a very selfless guy this offseason. He, you know, worked out. He was obviously like all players do, but he was saying – Whatever I need to do to get on the field is what I'm going to do. If I have to be the best special teams player on this team, that's what I'm going to do. If I have to be the best run blocker on this team, that's what I want to do. And I love that attitude out of Hutchinson. And that reminds me a little bit of Nico Collins and his attitude towards this team. And I think with Hutchinson, him having a big body, very similar to Nico Collins, CJ Stroud feels very comfortable throwing to guys like that because it's a larger catch radius and he knows he can fit it in a little bit higher than guys than like Tank Dell. So a guy like Xavier Hutchinson, I think can really make a big impact on this team moving forward. Obviously, you do have the top two guys in Stephon Diggs and Tank Dell who should carry the majority of the load. But if you're looking for a third guy, if you're looking for a, you know, sneaky player that can get a lot of targets if you're maybe in a 12-man fantasy league and you don't know what to do, no, don't know who to pick up after the Nico Collins injury, I implore you to look at Xavier Hutchinson because I think he can be that guy I think he can be somebody that the Texans look at and say dude this guy could be a wide receiver two, wide receiver three on other teams and we have him as our wide receiver four because this depth chart at the wide receiver position for the Texans team is very deep and reminder we'll be live for this week six matchup Drake May gets his very first start of his young NFL career up against the Texans in week six in Foxborough, I'll be live giving you all the play-by-play, -play, all the action for this game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you join us this Sunday for that game because it should be a fun one. My final thoughts on all of this, just to wrap this show up in a pretty little bow. I think the wide receiver room is up for the task. I think this Texans team is ready to brace the storm of this offense without Nico Collins. But my biggest question mark will be OC Bobby Sloan. Will he be able to formulate a game plan without Nico Collins? After Collins went out up against the Buffalo Bills, this offense looked like it was in shambles. It looked like it didn't know what to do because after that, I mean, the offense moved much slower. It didn't look the same as it did with Nico Collins. So can Bobby Sloat come up with a game plan? Can he formulate an offense without the number one guy on the team, Nico Collins, I think that is going to be a big factor in this week six matchup against the Patriots. I think the Texans are a better team. I think it could be a trap game, but I think they're a better team and should get the dub. But moving forward without Nico, how will Bobby Slowick look? Because I've been a Slowick defender, and I really need him to step up in this time. Obviously, I know CJ is one of the best in the business. He'll keep the train rolling, but can Bobby Slowick get his job done without his number one target in Nico Collins?